how does one connect? You said it's just through basketball, but it's not that simple. No, I mean, it's time. It's listening. It's sitting down and having conversations. You know, Pop, his, his thing was dinners. Could you not there. go to the dinners, by the way? Like, what if you said I'm not going to dinner? What would he do? I better have a damn good reason, Bob. <laughs> but, Becky, what if you'd been a damn good three reason. nights in a row? Like, what if it was the fourth oh. night? You have to go to the fourth night in a row. And you say, I'm tired. I'm tired. Well, I want to hear know, this. I'm very curious. <laughs> his kind of rule of thumb is, you know, six people. But, you know, a lot of times we have two, three games in a row that you're trying to prepare for. So it's kind of like you're trying to get in and out of dinner as quick as possible. Yeah. And sometimes those dinners can turn into three, four, five hour events. And you're like, damn, I got to finish up that scouting report. His dinners were fun. 80% of the time, we're not even talking about basketball. And I right. think that's where, again, you build these meaningful relationships.